Okay, so after you continue from that last screen, you're going to hit begin program. And then it's going to, um, if this is the first time, it's going to first download your stock tune to this device. Then it's going to go through that memory setting. Then it's going to go through a couple things. It's going to ask you to turn the key on. Do not turn it back off now. It says key should be on. Yes, leave it on. Before you do this, make sure your OBD2 port is plugged in really well. Um, and then it's going to start downloading the tune. This freaks everything out. This freaks the instrument cluster out. Your airbag light starts flashing. says check charging system. And your PATS light, your anti-theft light, goes crazy. Um, when I did it the first time, my TPMS light started flashing. It said TPMS system fault. So it, hasn't, it doesn't do it on subsequent tunes. One thing to remember about this device is you can uh, return to stock and then tune again five total times before the device locks out and is useless. They do this because they're assholes and they want your money. Um, to tune a different car, you have to remove your tune from your car, so go back to stock and then tune that car, and that uses one of your five uses. However, when you just flash over like I'm doing now, I already have the tune, I'm just changing the options, it, it leaves, it does not use those, so I've only used one out of my five because I've only done it on this car and I have not returned to stock. I will end up using two when I bring my car in to have the PCM updated um, to help some things, um, which makes doesn't seem to make sense because I'm going to just tune it again, but uh, it will actually change programming that will not be changed by the tune. So um, that's a big part of it. So this takes about, what, two to five minutes, depending on the car, I guess, and the tune. And uh, it'll double double that if it has to download the stock tune, which seems to take a little longer than uploading or downloading the tune to your car versus uploading to the device. Device gets pretty hot on the back. I mean, it's not bad, but it, it gets warm. Make sure your car battery is not going to die on you in the middle of this either. If you have an unreliable battery, I would not tune it. Or if your connection's coming off, or if somebody's working on your car, don't tune it with the hood open. Just, I mean, if this gets unplugged right now, I think there's a chance I can just plug it back in and try to return to stock. There's also a chance my PCM will get fried depending on, oh cool, it's a hummingbird. I don't know if you can see that. See the little hummingbird? That's really cool. I do not see hummingbirds often. Just jamming its beak into those freaking flowers. Man, that thing is agile. Okay. Sorry, that was cool. Hummingbirds are cool. I mean, we're just waiting for this, so why not talk about hummingbirds, right? Don't even remember what I was saying, so. Oh, if it gets unplugged, yeah, you might have to get a new PCM from the dealer, which would suck because that would cost a lot of money. Or they'd have to re-flash it somehow, which would also cost a lot of money, so just cross your fingers that doesn't happen. I wouldn't... You know, it's okay to tune your car if it's still under warranty. Um, since you can return it to stock, the only problem is if you can't return it to stock. Um, so, use at your own risk again. Uh, this thing is not legal in California. It'll tell you that the first time you use it. Or really, actually, it's not legal on any car technically, but I don't think it matters. It's emissions, stupid emissions stuff. Hey, look where I am. Oh, hey, I have a phone button. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Oh, wow. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Let's see what I have in here. I got two ELM-327s, some gum, some change, some pens. Oh, and my ID. Hey, I got barbecue. Oh, I have a dollar. Heck, yeah, that was hidden. Some more gum. Two iPhone 5 charging cables and my aux cable. Oh, oh, 100%. Now's the part where I hate waiting for it. It takes like 30 seconds, but it just says, please wait, and you can't do anything about it. I think it's just verifying the tune. I think if you unplug it now, you'd be okay, but don't unplug it now. Just wait. Man, somebody has a TV on loud. Man, that hummingbird is just having going to town on these things. It'll beep at you when it's done, so you don't have to keep staring at it. 
Okay, download complete, turn key off. So let's turn that key off. My key is now off. Gonna hit continue. And it goes back to screen. Gonna unplug. And gonna turn the car on to on. Give it a second. Start it up, see how it took a second there? I guess I'd have to think about it. And I don't feel my stumble anymore. So that's good news. Throttle response on a uh, drive-by-wire car is incredibly, incredibly uh, made better. I mean, it, it's not a request anymore. It actually does what you want it to. Like, if you notice an idle, it jumps up really quickly compared to, like, it, it'll go up to its limiter, like, instantly versus on the... Uh, stock tune it won't do that it'll just slowly get towards it so that's how you tune a car not very hard gas mileage increases power increases not worth it on some cars um, so if you have an EcoBoost why are you waiting you should have bought a tuner before you bought your car um, because you, the amount of power you will gain is incredible my car is naturally aspirated 3.5 liter um, dual brake cam v6 with um, intake independent variable cam timing on the intake cams only so um, yeah it still feels like it's misfiring a little bit I don't know if that's to do with the tune or if that's the car I've had problems like that for a while but I don't want to return to stock just to waste one to find out if it works or not okay I'm gonna go on another drive and check it out thanks for watching